What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Fumaplot. Welcome back to another Sosnovka Let's Play here on the Xbox One. Today, we are going to be mowing some hay. Hey. And if you guys recall, a while ago, I set up this rig here to drive backwards for some reason. More so because I can more than anything else. So let's jump into some mowing action using the Coon DLC merger, of course, and the regular in-game mowers. Which way is that actually merging? I know I can turn my help on, guys. I know, I know, I know. Trust me. I kind of want it to merge to the center. Let me go turn my help on. Because I don't remember what button combo this is that actually is. Okay, I know we need to raise it up. And then we need to... No, that's that button. Turn it off. That folds it. Okay, hang on. I'll get this figured out. It's probably over here. There we go. We want it to merge to the center. I think that's just going to be our easier bet, honestly, is to merge to the center. So let's go ahead and fire that up. Fire this up. Lower that. Fire, no, fire that up. There we go. So now we should be good here. And we're, yep, we're going to be merging all to the center. So really it doesn't matter where I drive. And we'll just be merging together. I know it would be more efficient probably to mow the whole patch first and then come back in and merge it all. But, you know, this will work. This will work. So, yes, but thank you guys for clicking on another Sosnovka video. I do appreciate it, guys. Welcome back. It has been probably about three weeks since I've recorded, or four weeks maybe, since I've actually recorded a it's been nice. I, I worked really hard to get ahead, and then I had to work on the On the Farm episode 100 montage. And that pretty much took up all my time. So I was unable to really work on anything else. And that's fine. You know, it was fun. It was a good project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It took a lot of time. But it was fun, and I definitely, definitely enjoyed working on that project. So, yes. Right, but yeah, it basically took all my time, so I wasn't able to record anything, which is fine. You know, I was I was plenty far ahead. I'm not going to miss any days. Don't you worry about that. But I'm recording this the week before it goes out, which is very unusual for me, honestly. Usually, I record a couple weeks ahead, and uh, yeah. But we will get back on track and get farther ahead. So if I happen to get sick or have another project come up that I need to focus on. I won't miss any days, but I don't plan on missing any days anyway. So it should be good. Should be good. So we're doing two things here. One, we are bailing, or one, we are gonna pick up this grass. And the other thing is we are going to bale some of this grass as well. And yeah, as you guys can see, I have $4.1 million. I don't really know what to buy equipment wise. Um, I do want to go ahead and start purchasing more fields. Uh, a couple videos ago, I think it was now, I asked you guys the question about the pencil cut, which is the field over on the right. Go ahead and just, you know, buy it and do some plowing. We will do that, but I think I'll try to do that in a high speed kind of thing, you know, like record an hour worth of plowing and then condense it down to 20 minutes for you guys and voice it over and all that. I know you guys really like those. Uh, I can't make them every week because it would just it's a lot to record those. Like I said, at least an hour worth of recording, sometimes more. And uh, I can't always take the time to do that. But hey, I will do that for the plowing. And uh, you never know what else. Actually, the mowing would be a perfect job for that, but that's okay. That is okay. My schedule's getting a little busy. It is basically time for me to start cutting grass again. However, I'm not cutting as much as I did last year even. I'm scaling back a little bit more. Um, basically, just, you know, enough to make a little bit of money. It's not about the money, um, honestly. And, you know, my grass still needs to get cut. My buddy next door, Casey, his grass still needs to get cut. So it's like we might as well cut a little bit to make it worthwhile. And, uh, yeah, so scaling back on that so that I can focus a little bit more on the YouTube stuff and Twitch and all of that so yeah but uh yeah so basically a little less time for the youtube stuff 
soon because of cutting grass, but it won't be that much time away. Uh, but, you know, the farm's getting busier. You know, we're having to go down. Really, we should almost go down every day now soon and cut asparagus. Um, we've been going down like twice a week and cutting, but it's going to get to the point here soon where it's, it's every day it has to get cut because it grows so much here in the St. Louis area that uh, we have to start running down more and more and more. But I'm not sure how that's going to work because I stream five nights a week and usually that's when we would go to the farm is at night. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out this year, but we will figure it out. We will make it work. We will definitely make it work. So there is that. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just life's getting a little busy with uh, the summertime, or not even summertime, with springtime cranking up here in the St. Louis Metro, and uh, it's all good. It is all good. But, nope, we're not missing any days. I do see, how should I word this? I see the end of this map, and it's not as far off as some people might think, I guess. I mean, realistically, with the money mod that I have in here, which is, like, totally cheating, and I'm well aware of that. Um, you know, how much how much do we really need to keep going on this map? I do want to buy all the fields, which I could probably go purchase all the fields now if I wanted to. But I do want to purchase all the fields. I do want to plow the whole side together. I do want to get cows up and running, at least, you know, 100 of them. I do want to get my sheep up and running. I don't even know if I own sheep right now. Mm, let's see. No, we don't even own sheep. We own almost 500 cows, or pigs, I mean, excuse me. Oh, goodness, the hiccups. We own almost 500 pigs right now, and they are doing quite well. They need some water right now. Oh, that's what I was going to do. So in the mod, mod hub here on the Xbox One, they came out with a water tank for the IT runner, and I was going to download all that stuff and bring it into this map so I had a bigger water tank, but I completely forgot to do that. I even went and looked at the mods, too, and I was like, no, there's nothing there. Nothing that I need today, but obviously there was, but that's okay. We will bring that in later on, but uh, yeah, I was going to bring that into this map. So what I'm really thinking, and you guys know I try to be like as honest and an o as open as possible with YouTube and Twitch and, and TeamSpeak and everything, but what I'm really thinking is um, Sosnovka... Sosnovka no, not Sosnovka. Hagenstead, that Let's Play is coming to an end, as everybody knows. I believe next week will be episode 30. Yeah, this they're actually today or tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is the end of So Back to Hagenstead. That would be tomorrow, yeah. So, what, you know, everybody knows I'm going to replace that map with a Let's Play on PC, which many of you already know what map that's going to be. It's going to be Rattlesnake. Uh, I don't know that I've really said that anywhere. I, I think I said it in episode 30, which comes out tomorrow. So if you guys are watching now, it's kind of a spoiler, but you know. Yeah. So that's on PC, obviously. It's going to be heavily modded, and it will be a good time. What I'm really thinking about doing is kind of wrapping this map up soon-ish with maybe another five videos or something. I'd have to figure out. I think this is episode 30 of this as well. So I could see going to 35, maybe 40, but 40 would be kind of a stretch. I could see doing 35. And the reason for that is what I kind of want to do is almost just go to two maps, uh, two different Let's Plays, but do two days of each a week. So do two days of Goldcrest by Stevie, and then do two days of Rattlesnake, is what I'm really contemplating doing. Oh, wait, no, I still have... Uh, I still have, what's it called out there? How's that, oh, how's this gonna work? I guess what I would do for now is I would do two days of Rattlesnake, that's what I would do. Two days of Rattlesnake, one day of Waffles, which is still running on Thursdays there, and then do one day of Gold Crest by Stevie. So go, basically instead of four maps and four Let's Plays, I would go down to three maps, but still do four videos a week. And honestly, it's it's a lot keeping up with these four maps. And if you get, if you really think about it, I've got these four maps that I'm running for Let's Plays. Plus, I've got two maps that I'm running for Twitch. 
and it's a lot to keep up with six maps right now. So I'm looking to downscale just a little bit on my maps, how many maps I'm running at one time, and focus on those maps more, uh, if that makes any sense at all. So that's what I'm really looking to do. And the Lawful's map, it's got a fair bit of life left in it, honestly. Fair bit. I'm not sure how many y'all do, because that map is like the field, not the fields, but the roads are so small on that map that it's not really my style. And when that map becomes not fun, then I'm done. And that's my philosophy with all of it, honestly, is when I'm not having fun on a map, I'm done. So it, it's, it's off in the distance. But what I kind of want to do is I want to get down to two, two maps that I'm running instead of four. I would really like to get down to two eventually. So let me know what you guys think. I, I know I kind of talked about this a couple weeks ago in a video. And you guys did have some good input. And some of you guys were saying, you know, two of them. It's not going to be two on console, though. Uh, if anything, it's going to be a two on PC for now. And then maybe when one of those ends, do one on console, one on PC. I know that there are a ton of you guys out there that are console fans that play farm sim on console. And, you know, I don't mind farm sim on console as long as it's in single player. The multiplayer on console is, yeah, for lack of a better term, it's garbage, I'll be honest. Multiplayer on console is not for me, and I'm not a fan of it. At least not while streaming, that's for sure. And that's pretty much the only time I've ever played multiplayer was while streaming, and it just did not work for me. So, single player, I'm okay with. I don't mind running maps in single player, but multiplayer was just not, not at all for me. So, there is that. All right. We are going to do one more pass, and then we are going to start picking this up. And we'll probably have to bail some other time as well for the cows. we trying to make the push to get a bunch of stuff done on this map. Um, but it's, you know, I, I do want to show you guys at the same time. I don't just want to, like, play it off stream or off recording, screen, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, I don't really want to do that too much. I'd rather make it so everybody can see it and everybody's hanging out and having a good time watching. So there is that but yeah I'm, I really would like to get down to two maps and then I'm gonna have two maps on for stream so and actually those PC players out there if you guys are uh, curious we are bringing back the farming simulator 24 hour open server on PC I wish I wish I wish there was something that we could do on console that was like an open server type where it ran 24 7 like I could rent a server like I do on PC but unfortunately, there is not. And actually, I saw that comment the other day, and I forgot to answer that. I'm really bad at answering comments. You guys probably all know this by now. But the 24-hour farm sim open server will be coming back on PC. We're not sure what map yet. We're not sure yet what map, but we are... Maybe by the time this video comes out, but we're trying to work through and play a couple maps and, and try to figure out what's what's going to be the best, what people are going to like, and what people are wanting to play. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now. That's kind of what we're going through and behind the scenes work, you know, that's, yeah. So I'm big on getting the community involved in decisions like that. Like, hey, what map do you guys actually want to play? So we might as well mow this way because we need to go over here anyway. So... We might as well mow while we're going. <laughs> we might as well mow while we're driving. But, uh, yeah, so we're trying to figure out what map to play for an open server on PC. I, like I said, I wish there was something we could do on console that was equivalent. But, unfortunately, there is not There is not an open server you can rent on the console. Which is kind of lame, honestly. I would pay for it. I would rent one. I really would. Even if it was only a six person or maybe even more, but Xbox just can't handle that. And uh, that's all there is to it. Xbox just cannot do it. So yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and turn all this stuff off. Turn you off. Um, fold you up. Turn you off. Fold you up. Fold you up. We got folding. Th it's, it's a transformer. Robot in disguise. Yes, I said robot. As you can see, I do have some equipment brought down here uh, to the sheep, obviously, because we will be starting sheep very soon. And then really the only one that's left is cows after that. So 
yeah, once we get cows and fields, I don't see much else to do on this map, really. So, I'm not going to get into logging. Um, you know, how many times do you guys want to watch me harvest the same fields, you know? So, and actually, if you guys can tell by the map, I have all my combines sitting there hired in case I ran out of stuff to do down here. I could go fire up and, you know, empty combines and get them rolling, but that's okay. That is okay for now. So... We will let those guys chill for right now, but, uh, yeah, so, good times, right? I'm out of stuff to say already in the video. <laughs> Not bad, it only took me, what, like 15 minutes or so, and I ran out of stuff to talk about? This is going to be a long recording day. I've got to record a whole week's worth of videos today, which is really only three videos because I already have the Hack and Star Wars R done. I recorded episode 30 of that, like... Probably a good month ago at this point, maybe even more. It's been a while. I've worked really hard for a couple days. I know, I worked hard. It was it was a struggle, but I worked really hard and recorded a bunch of those over like four days just to kind of get that series done so I didn't have to worry about it anymore. So that was very nice to get that all done and taken care of. and. Just, I didn't have to worry about it anymore. So that was, uh, like I said, quite nice. Quite nice. So I'm hoping, that, like I said, to get down to two maps eventually. Um, it'll just free up some time for, you know, some other projects that I have as well. And I know it's still the same amount of videos, but the, the thing that takes the most time out of these Let's Plays to record is not the actual recording the little bit of editing or the rendering it's the time that I have to put in between videos you know there's sometimes where I will put hours in between making videos and uh, you know that's the time that I'm trying to cut back on as much as possible that's why actually Lawfuls is probably the best map right now because I'm not playing that map unless I'm recording or just fast timing through the night which I've only fast timed like one time on that map right now so that map is pretty good as far as that goes, but, um, you know, so Snowfka, I, I've put in a lot of time here off recording, off video, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like I almost have to on these maps because if there's not that much progression, I feel like people might get a little bored or whatever, so I'm always trying to keep the maps kind of rolling, um, hence the money mod here that really keeps the map rolling. Just having all the money that I I don't need to worry about money basically it's just about time so there is that but yeah I think it's gonna be really nice to get down to two maps and like I said it'll what you're not accepted here is this thing not like a huh what I thought this would accept grass no that's gonna be a problem. Um, what do you accept? You accept straw. Huh. That's a bit of an issue there, bud. Oh, jeepers. Grass is not... It's okay. Well, then, I guess the, uh... I, I guess I'm done with this for now. I guess we're just gonna park this right here. I could make a pile, but I kinda don't want to. I don't know why I have piles all over this darn map. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess we will bail. We'll probably bail the rest of that grass we have down then. Because I thought we were able to store it in the hayloft thingy. Well, we might as well sell that back, huh? Well, we don't need that anymore. I guess I'm used to the modded one I have on PC, huh? That's a problem. <laughs> that is definitely a problem. So, we will go get the baler. We'll probably be bailing and putting some bales up, uh... For the cows next time we, we need to I may jump ahead a little bit here, here we go talking about jumping ahead maybe probably not let's just be real probably not gonna jump ahead at all probably just jump right back into the map uh, whenever we are able oh my god oh nailed it in case you guys didn't know that's how you get down the hill okay just like that train professional at work that is totally how you get down the hill. But yeah, we'll probably uh, jump back into this map next time I'm able to record and uh, pick it up pretty well right off. 
where we are getting the sheep going. I may buy, you know what, I probably will. I'm going to buy my sheep uh, before next time. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy probably 100 sheep. We'll probably do 100 sheep and 100 cows. We'll go ahead and get those bought before before the next time we record here. So we will jump into that. I need to get some silage made. I don't have any silage. So I'm actually going to plant corn on this side of the map and use the forge harvester to uh, chop the corn. So, all right, we have our coon baler and we will try this bad boy out next time. We'll head down to the, the sheep there and uh, get that all sorted out. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate y'all watching. I know there's so Snowfka Let's Play. Make sure you uh, hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.